Hey and welcome to this new video about uh, SMS script and we will be talking about elements so how we can create new things for, uh, for example a paragraph or a span or something else but not here in, a f in uh, our HTML but from our JS code <coughs> so first let's create a new div so div and let's give it for example uh, as class uh, created and here it is or let's give it an ID the both are correct you can give it whatever you want so now let's go back in here let's also make this go with comment And here let's create new const for example uh, created div equal to document get element by id document dot get element by id and id it, it was created so now let's create another variable const for example new element I will just type element and here let's type document dot create element so create where it is here it is create element and let's create for example a paragraph so it's a p and uh, now let's go and with this new element new lm no not that new lm dot inner HTML or inner text and equal for example let's say I was created from the JS file so now we have like uh, the div and here we create a new element so how can we like uh, make this go inside this div or make this p go inside this uh, created div so to do that we need to type first like uh, the name of of uh, the div so this created div dot append child append child and here we type like uh, their child its new element or new lm e lm so let's save let's go now and refresh and here it is I was created from JS file so now we create a new paragraph uh, inside uh, this dev pod we created from here and here I, we can type also inner text so I will show you the difference now inner text and it will be also created but uh, here let's for example type it inside and h2 so h2 save go now refresh and see we type it or we type the text as it is let's go now and change it to inner html so inner html go now see the text how it was now let's refresh and we'll see that uh, like he read to the h2 type that we type and he make them as an h2 or he make them yeah as an h2 so now you know the difference between inner text and inner html and they can also like uh, give it uh, some classes here let me see each class for example let's give it this class so here let's use new lm so new lm dot class list dot add and here let's type the name <coughs> of the class I think it was test so now let's go here refresh and here it is now we create like a p or paragraph and we make it also uh, we associate it with the class but not from our HTML but from JavaScript this uh, it will come handy when for example you have uh, some data stored in a file 
that uh, just for example GS have access to it and you need two starter for example to put them so that the uh, people or user can see them in your uh, HTML or in your code so maybe this method uh, it will become like uh, very handy for you and also here you can uh, add uh, as many classes as you want you can just to type uh, comma and then the name of the class here let me see uh, for example let's add this first So I will delete this because we already have it in test. So I forget to save. Just copy this and save and go now to this and past it. Save so now we'll have test and first class. Let's refresh now and here it is. If we inspect our element, let's go to this created and we see here that paragraph that we create from javascript it has two classes test and first and also for example now you know if we want to remove classes we will type the remove so new element dot class list dot remove and let's remove for example the test and I believe we need to type it in between code so now let's go refresh and we see that now our test it's it's gone because we remove it we have just first so I will, I will delete it or let, let's just leave it now let's do another example so that uh, you understand it well so I will uh, first I will create for example a div and not a paragraph and I will make this be a comment so here till here so now I create in this like uh, so in this div created div I create another div so for example we will create an a ul and inside it an le so a list so now let's create const for example new ul or ul ordered list or an ordered list document dot created element and here let's type it ul or let's say ol for example ordered list and inside this ordered list for example let's create an array so const r for example equal to let's just type 1 2 3 4 5 and inside for example uh, inside this I will have like an uh, EL or item of the list with one, two, three, five. So how we can do that? So first let's create the EL. So const for example new LE equal document dot created create where it is create element and let's create our LE. So now I want those or the array to be inside this LE. So how can I do that? Again, pause the video and go and try to, to do it yourself and after that come back and watch. So let's create the loop. So for, for example, let X in R my array and here let's type Uh, this new le dot in our HTML equal to x. After that, go to this new ol dot append 
child new LE. After that, go now to the new element element dot append append child and now add this new order list. So let's see if what we type here is correct. So let's go back to here, refresh, and something is wrong. So let's see where is the error. And basically, why it doesn't happen because like we forget to make it inside uh, our dev. So created dev dot append append the child. And now let's add the new element. So now let's save, let's go and refresh. And here it is one and four, the first and the last one. Ah, because I used in, I need to use off. So now let's go refresh one five. Yeah, we have just the last one because like, uh, yeah, I know what happened. So every time they, uh, they delete the old one and create the new. So first it become equal to one. After that, when it will become two, it delete one and it become two. So how we can like uh, add them so that we can see all old array. So how one way to, to solve that problem is first to create this uh, ul inside the loop so that each each time we go inside the loop we create a new le and then we add to this new le that we just create one of the elements of the array and after that we need to to append it to the child like this so First, we create new le. Uh, we associate it with a value of uh, our array, and after that, we make it go with our ol or uh, ordered list. So let's go here. Let's refresh and see. And here it is. Let's make this an ordered list. So ul, so that we can see numbers in both way. Refresh, and here it is. Now we can like type our uh, we create an first a new div so we create a new div this one and inside it we create new le and like uh, we add data or we add el to this ul uh, with data of this array if we, if we go here and inspect element uh, let's go here to this div created and inside it another div and here it is el ul and inside it our like uh, le and this le it's uh, dynamic because it have like uh, this one uh, because uh, it, if we change in here it will change in here automatically we can also add add for example some uh, class so we'll just copy this from here, add them maybe here. Now let's go and refresh what it will look like, and it's like this. They are in green, and the background it's on yellow. And uh, since we can create element from our JavaScript, that means we can also delete element. So how we can delete element? Let's go here. Uh, let's delete this uh, this div or this div new element so created div dot remove child and now we type like the name of this child it's new element so basically we just added that's mean here now when I refresh uh, this ID it will be removed so this ID will be removed so now let's refresh and here it is now we found nothing in here why because we deleted 
we deleted the child another thing for example let's delete this uh, tree for example so how we can do that so let's create a new const for example unlike it number equal to uh, and this uh, this tree we have it in uh, le so we will use this ul so new ol dot child or uh, node child where it is and with capital i believe oh it's a it's child node so child node num index for example here zero one two so index two but now let's create with an f so if this unlike number is equal equal to three then we move it from the list so new ol dot remove child and then let's remove this unlike number so let's save let's go now and see if uh, this is or what we code is correct refresh and we see that tree it's still in here that means something is wrong two zero one two let's see this console log console.log so let's see this unlike number let's go back and refresh go to our console it's an le of what it's the tree le tree maybe if i use just two equal let's save the same result ah uh, yeah it's it's correct because in here i forget to type inner text so dot inner text don't know if with the inner html will work but let's see refresh now and we see that tree is gone we remove it in here for example here let's let's remove four so number index number three and if it's equal to four remove it so now we will uh, instead of four we will have three so one two three and then five six let's refresh and here it is and another thing in here it can't be like a direct child so here this uh, ol or uh, so i will show you here in the uh, inspect element or in the code so this our le they are like a direct child of the ul and the ul it's a direct child of this div and div it's now it's direct child of this div also so for example here if i try to to remove it but i didn't use its direct child i use for example something else so it's use child element and it will not work because it's not a direct child and see here it didn't work so again it need to be its direct child so that it can work like correctly so just keep that in mind here we can use it in uh, another way for example if we don't know the index so i will delete this and let's create a four uh, uh, let for example x of uh, my ul so new ol not new ol dot child node and here use my f so f x dot 
inner HTML or inner text equal equal to three for example then remove it so we say that we need to it, it must be the direct child so dot remove remove child and use this X so save let's delete this time of the five so that you can see now let's uh, didn't remove anything that means something is false in here so let me see here if we use just two uh, two equal sign and not of three because basically they are not uh, the same type so now let's save this let's go to our browser refresh and we see that five it's gone so now we know how for example how to add element from our js file and also how to delete element from it basically those like uh, for this loop in here for and uh, also this mm, it's better i will say it's better that you will make them in uh, in a function so just try to make them in function and now you know about functions so try to use a narrow function so that uh, you can in in its body type those uh, two false so i think this is all for this video we learn about elements how to create them and remove them from our uh, javascript in the next video we will be talk about talking about event so see you next